In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best ways to qualify for any tournament in Chapter 5. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of this video as the last part is the most important, otherwise enjoy the video. To qualify, you need to get points. To get points, you need kills and placement points. So I'll be showing you a few key steps to ensure you'll qualify into the next tournament you'll play. Key number one. The first solution for qualification in a tournament is to find the main drop spot that you or you and your duo need. This is important as if people can test you, you understand the drop spot better than the opponents. This is crucial to pick anywhere on the map you are confident in to receive placement points and more. Before I carry on, I want to thank all of you for reaching 95 subscribers and reaching 2000 views in my last video. I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you very much. Let's get back into the video. The second key point is to understand how to rotate, when to rotate and what is the best time to rotate to the best position in the zone. If you want to guarantee that you can qual, you need to find a duo that you can understand and play extremely well with in all different types of positions such as endgame, fighting and rotation. Let's take a look at Clicks and Epic Whale's gameplay and how they rotate together and get tags for damage threshold. And notice how they communicate when rotating while it's a moving zone. This is how professional players play and this is how everybody should play. For instance, if you're in a position where you're in storm and you're getting held in, what are you going to do you ask? Well firstly you have to look at the map and find open areas to rotate around the players and not where you can be seen. If you are low on meds be sure to make quick decisions on what position you want to go on to the map. This will definitely put you in a position where you can win the whole game. Key number three. I've seen so many people complain after the teammate dies and moreover people saying they let the team down. It doesn't help a team in any way when saying these unhelpful things to your teammates. Instead say unlucky, we do better next game. And believe me or not, it will help you and your team massively when playing tournaments. When I say it is one of the most important ways of qualifying for tournaments, I promise you it's a fact. You need to have warm-ups before playing any competitive event to ensure you're playing your best before any tournament. Two amazing examples of maps would be 1v1 Pete's Control and 2v2 Realistics. This will increase your probability in qualifying for every tournament and I become so much better in every time and every game session. Remember in this season it's so crucial to understand that forecast towers and islands do not give you points so be sure to not grief your game for that. The most important key. Finally, the most important part in qualifying for tournaments is to have a confident mentality and not to think you're going to lose the game. This plays a massive role in your full performance in the tournament you're playing. Be sure to apply this trait to the next tournament as you'll improve by a mass load. And as always, you got this. To conclude, what have we went over in this video? First key is to find a main drop spot for yourself or your duo to ensure you plan out your whole entire game. Step 2 is to understand rotation and how to move all around the map when zone pulls away. This is to survive for much longer and will step you up for victory. The third step is to have a clear and respectful communication with your teammates to be sure that you will guarantee yourself an amazing game and good vibes. And to conclude, the final step is to have a good mindset going into the next match and having confidence to qualify to every tournament. Anyways you guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe and drop a comment on what you would like me to post next. Be sure to check out the video on the screen right now for more tips and tricks for Fortnite. And as always, have a blessed day.